In early August 2006, Bill McKibben decided it was past time to stop writing about global warming and start doing something. He phoned his friend, fellow writer John Elder, and suggested they walk up to Burlington, sit in on the steps of the federal building, and get arrested. John agreed. But when they found out that the Burlington police would just let them sit there forever and not haul them off to jail, they had to come up with a different plan. Instead, they assembled a small cast of Middlebury students and activists from around Vermont and began planning a five-day march. Soon Greenpeace sent in an organizer to help. Three weeks later, the march began. We're trying to kick something important off here. And I'm so happy that we're finally asking for it. And we gotta ask for it loudly and noisily and politely, but firmly. Thank you all for being part of that. And tell everybody you know, it's gonna be a good weekend and Monday in Burlington's gonna be a really important and interesting and great day. We're being told by the leading climate scientists that our window of opportunity, not to avoid impacts from global warming, but to avoid catastrophe is closing incredibly rapidly. We need to have our emissions peak and decline by the end of this decade. And if we're going to do that, that requires immediate legislative action that starts us down that path within the next two years. I've been working on this stuff for a very long time. And to think and work about global warming can be a pretty depressing and difficult business. This was the most hopeful day for me of the last 20 years. So thank you enormously for being here.